What kind of game would be immersive without audio? We have sound effects and we also have background music. Now the simplest thing to do is to input your background music. But make sure your file is in the WAV format because Armory only supports the .WAV format. The reason is it doesn't actually export it as is, it converts the .WAV format into whatever format is best for the platform you're exporting to. So if you have a big WAV file that you're importing, don't worry, it won't be the same when you export it to your platform. When it comes to importing your file, make sure you go ahead and add a speaker. Once you have a speaker, go to the sound tab and open up your .wav file. Now we can go down to the Army properties and click play on start and also loop if you want. This will make your background music play instantly in this scene. However, if you want to create a sound effect, we can actually use nodes to do this. To import a sound effect, we can go ahead to our basic speaker over here and go ahead and open up the .wav file. In this case I want my sound effect to play as soon as I left click on my mouse button so let's hook it up to a left click mouse node and as soon as this is triggered it's going to play our play sound node. We can however use the play speaker node which plays whatever is in the speaker and you can configure the speaker's sound and quality of the uh, audio and the pitch and stuff like that. You can modify the sound's quality and uh, appearance by modifying those settings. However, with the play sound node, we also have a bunch of possibilities. We can select the audio we want, but we also have uh, the possibility of looping this, of overriding the, the sample rate, and more importantly, we have access to the output. So we can continue adding logic to this while it's running or when it's done running. And this is very important because, for example, we have a player death sound effect. So we want the player to restart the scene or to switch to another level when they die so instead of having a timer to wait we can instead just use the end of the sound effects to trigger the new scene so these outputs are very very useful we have a lot of possibilities to modify the sound inside of arm 3d when playing it but we also have the possibility of saying how much of the sound and how big of a file we actually want in our final game. For example, when we're making a HTML game, it's probably the best idea to not have a 50 megabyte sound file. So here we can select a sound quality in the Army project, and the sound quality is going to change not only the size, but also the quality of the sound. Thanks again for watching. This has been a very, very important video that everybody should know. Uh, obviously, remember, only use .wav format, and uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again someday.